Hi, my name is Vito Belfort, and now we're gonna learn the boxing work. That's what I know for, and I want you guys to stick with me and learn, you know, the posture, the how to walk sideways, frontward, and backwards. Okay? Okay, guys. Before we go to the punches, let's go see the how our standings and how our movement is. Okay? First, make yourself comfortable. Make sure your balance is right in the middle. Don't put your balance too forward and too backwards. Make sure your balance is right in the middle. Your legs, I don't want to see, you know, nobody like this. I want to see, you know, you just a little, you give a little space, you know, like a little vertical over here. You know, don't stay too much like this because here you can get up, get up with kicking, okay? You want to stay that way because from here you can move, get off the kick, you can do a bunch of stuff, okay? It's just a little different than a boxer, okay? This is a boxing movement, but a boxer can stay on that position, okay? Because he don't... Don't worry about kicks, but in NHB fighting, you gotta stay a little bit sideways because, you know, here it's easier to take your legs out of a kick or to bring it up to block a kick, okay? Okay, let's go for our handstands. Never drop your hands, okay? That's gonna save your face to get, you know, beat up or, you know, to move. You gotta stick with your hands in your chin, okay? Stay here. In that position, you're going to make yourself comfortable. Make sure your hands always over your chin. Don't put over here. You got to protect yourself here. After, let's learn how to walk forward and backwards. When I go forward, I'm going to push with my back leg. Don't forget, you push with your back if you go forward. I push, I go forward. Now I go backwards, I'm going to push with my front leg. Push, okay? Make sure you push, okay? That's simple. You go forward. Push with your back. You go backwards, push with your front leg, okay? Now let's learn how to walk to the side. If I go to my left side, I'm gonna push with my right leg. See ya. I push. If I go to my right side, I push with my left side. Boom. See ya. Boom. Always the opposite way. Go to your right, push with your left. Go to your left, push with your right. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you guys how to walk in the ring, in the octagon. Just take a look and enjoy. Okay guys, let's start with the first strike. It's the most important, the jab. That you can keep your way your opponent and of, of course you can set up sequence, okay? The jab is the most important weapon on boxing. Okay? In your stance, make sure your body stick with the middle. And what we're gonna do now, we have two different jabs. I'm gonna show you the rotation on your shoulder first, is the most important. To put your chin, you know. You see how I turn my hand, I turn my hand that way. 
make sure it's the two knuckles over here. Don't punch with the three knuckles, just the two, the first knuckles. You go, you know, that's going to be hitting the target. Don't punch, don't, don't punch that way, you know, make sure you're using your body, you know, see? I use my body, and don't open your shoulders, okay? Your shoulders gotta be close to your body, you know, it's faster, you hit the target faster. Here, you got a long way to go, here it's faster, okay? Two, you hit, and make sure your shoulders, speak your shoulders blocking, protecting your chin, okay? Okay, guys. You guys, when you jab, this hand stay in the same place. Because here, this hand can protect you. If this hand here, you can get caught up and punching, okay? When you jab, one hand sends an other hand, okay? If this hand goes, this stay. And when this hand go, this come into place, okay? You see, every time you punch, one hand stick in your chin in the same place it was before. Okay, guys. You guys wonder how we punch and, and how, how you work our speed. If you don't have speed, the jab, doesn't matter if you put strength, the jab doesn't, doesn't work, okay? When you jab, you gotta make sure you stick your jab, you know, fast, you know, boom! This is like, you know, you punch and you bring back fast, make the power, the punch is stronger, okay? If you punch and you keep your hands over there, doesn't work, okay? Make sure when you jab, you boom, you bring back fast, or you have, you know, you can throw all the sequence, okay? Make sure you go, come back faster, okay? from my heart. Okay guys, let me introduce you my boxing coach Juanito. We're gonna be show you guys how we are accuracy for the punching. This is very important when you work in the mitts, you hit the you know, this is a white spot, you know, to get accuracy. When you jab to the face, you don't wanna jab in the in the you know in the up up the head. You wanna jab Right on this spot over here, you know? Because here he can go out, you know? Here you can broke your hand, and sometimes you're trying to over here, he moves, you know? When you when you are accuracy to the middle, you know, it's hard to move, you can catch fast, okay? <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys why we don't jab to the body, because when you jab to the body, you get caught, you know? Yeah. You don't have like, sometimes you jab to the body, the guy kick, you know? He kick with the back leg and, and your, and when he go to the body, he's gonna kick around his back leg on, the, on my face, you know? You don't have time to bring back, you know? You gotta make sure in NHB fighting, the guy can kick. In, in boxing, he can jab and move. But here, when you move, if the guy have long legs, he's gonna catch you right in your head. Okay, guys, we learned how to, you know, set up the punches, you know, jab, the most important weapon. You know, you set up your power punching, you know, your back, your back hand is the power. You know, we can knock out people out. Now we're gonna learn how we throw this punch. That I'm very know about, you know, my back punching because I, I stick, you know, I fake the jab, I use my jab and I throw my back hand. That's how we, you know, to work well on NHB fighting. Okay, we learn how to jab, okay? When you bring your jab, you're gonna, you know, throw your left and make sure your whole body is gonna turn. I don't wanna see just throwing your hand. Doesn't work, okay? Make sure when you bring, in the same time you bring it, this, okay? The last thing, you know, is the punching. First, you gotta throw your hip and your, make sure your toe, you know, you turn. You see, you pivot 
with your back foot, okay? If you don't pivot, doesn't work, no power. The power is come from here, okay? Make sure the jab, when you bring, you pivot and you go and you finish with your back hand, okay? Again, you here, you go, you pivot, see? The last thing is my hand, okay? Boom, okay? First comes the hips and the pivot, okay? Boom. That's the power punch. Okay, guys, let's go to the details. Look easy, but not easy. When you throw your, your, your back hand, make sure this hand is going to bring back to the same place this hand was before, okay? You're here, and make sure you pivot, and you see your shoulder right over there, your leg, your arms. I don't, I don't want to see this. I want to see your shoulders high in your chin, okay? Make sure it's right there on the spot, okay? Be the power is right there. Okay guys, now we learned the one two, you know? One two. Now we gotta learn how to you know to count to come with an uppercut, okay? How are we gonna hit with the uppercut? Okay, we there. Now back in a powerful hand. Now the same time I bring back, I'm gonna swing turn, I pivot. Every time you punch, you gotta pivot. You know, if my if I'm gonna punch with my right, I'm gonna pivot with my right leg. I'm there, now I'm gonna throw uppercut, okay? Make sure, boom, you pivot, boom. See ya. You pivot, you see? You're using, and you bring, every time you, you punch with one arm, you bring the other arm in places, okay? Here, boom, okay? Make sure, boom, you up. The uppercut can work to the head or to the body, okay? It can be a body shot or a right in the chin. Okay, guys, the punch lonely doesn't work with the body, okay? Make sure when you punch, you're using your whole body, your shoulder, your back, your foot, your hip, you see? Boom! You make big difference in the rotation of the hand, too. Make sure you turn your hand. Don't go there that way. Turn. Make sure the two knuckles right there in the spot. Boom! Okay? Okay, guys, when you punch, make sure your elbow is not wide, you know, make sure you, you know, you're trying to bring, bring your elbow in and punch, you see, works much better, and make sure when you punch, you bring back, you know, boom, boom, you bring back, two, okay, make sure you bring back. Okay guys, now instead of throwing to the head, I'm gonna go for the body. That was a great <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah.
friction. Friction. Okay, guys, now we're gonna learn hook to the head. And make sure you guys pivoting, you know, don't forget about the pivoting, the power, the whole body power, okay? Don't use just your, head, your, your arms. Make sure about that. Okay, pay attention. We're going to the jab, we're going to the right. Now, you see, I'm pivoting myself, see? I don't just throw the leg, just throw the arm. I'm, you know, a pivot. Now instead of going to the, you no, know, we learn, you know, a hook to the body and hook. You know, we learn the uppercut and hook to the body. Now we learn how to throw the hook to the head, okay? Make sure, see, we have two different hooks. One is the short hook. When you throw, you bring your back, punching, bring, and at the same time, you see my shoulders? I'm throwing my shoulders. And you know, the last one. See, oh, boom. Just look at my pivoting. I pivot. Don't forget the pivot, okay? Here, see? My shoulder, boom. And bring back again. One, two, and three. Okay, you see my chin? I don't wanna see this. No, it's wrong, okay? And now, the second type of hook is, the guy's not too close, you're gonna get him longer, okay? Boom, make a little longer the hook, boom, okay? Sometimes you throw, the guy move, and you catch him with the longer hook. But, every time you punch, pivot, boom, you catch him, boom, and make sure you bring back again. Okay guys, we learn all different punches, you know, jab, left, you know, backhand, uppercut, uppercut to the body and hook to the head. Okay now, instead of, you know, throwing this uppercut, when you hear, if you, you throw one uppercut, you go with another uppercut, okay? It's one, two, three, and four, see? Same, instead of throwing, you know, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna learn the other combination with that hand, you know? When you throw, you throw uppercut, this hand is gonna go uppercut, you know? Same thing, same move you're doing this hand, you're gonna do with that hand. Don't forget, you're pivoting, using your whole body, your shoulder, your back, you gotta use it all. Just your arm doesn't work, okay? Make sure you throw your whole body, okay?
Okay, guys. You guys wonder why I don't, I don't kick and fighting. I'm gonna explain why. First of all, to kick, you gotta be expert in kick, you know? You just don't gonna go in there and kick. It doesn't work. You know, if you're, unless you kick very good and you know how to kick, take a long, long time to kick. I have fast hand. I fought a lot of top guys in kickboxing and, and all the fights, I've been catching them with my hand. And I feel comfortable and I want you guys to know how we do that. Your hand is much faster than your feet. The only difference between the hand and the leg, the legs is too big, you know, and it's too long. But to get in the guy, you don't need, the, you know, to kick, but you need the fast to get inside and outside. And that's you learning boxing. You're not gonna learn in kickboxing how to get in and get out. This is boxing. The game is get hit and don't get hit. That's what we're learning here. Now we're gonna go to defense, okay? You guys learn how to offense, and now we're gonna learn the defense. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, guys, now we learn, you know, we learn throwing punches and, you know, hook, body hook, hook to the head, we learn it all. Now we're gonna learn how to, you know, defense ourse ourselves. First, we're in the position, in your stance, you know, if the guy throw a jab, you can move, you know, sideways. Make sure, you know, you use your abs, you know, I don't want to see people doing this, you know, it's wrong. Make sure, you know, using your, ab your abs. It's just a little move. His hand is not that big, you know, small. Just make sure the hand is going to, you know, you go move, see? You move. Make sure when you move, just move your upper body. Don't move here. You know, you're not dancing, break. Are you fighting? I want you guys just move, okay? Make sure you're moving your head and look to the opponent. I don't want to see blinking your eyes, nothing. Just move, okay? Make sure your hands all the time is in your shin, okay? Okay, guys, from this angle, you guys are gonna watch how I'm gonna move, okay? Here, outside, inside. Outside, inside. If, it, if I go outside, outside, and I'm gonna hook to the head. See ya. You go outside, I go outside, hook to the head, you can throw sequence, many different sequence. If I go inside, and I throw my stronger punch, okay? Okay, again, I go outside, I'm counting with my front arm. If I go inside, I'm gonna count with my back hand. It's very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna go a little fast for you guys can see how it is, okay? Oh, okay. Same, same way. Same way. Two punches. No, I'm sorry. Okay guys, we learn outside, inside, inside, outside. Now we're gonna go to go under. You know, if you throw hooks, wild hooks, you know, we're gonna learn how to move. We have two ways to defend. First one is to go, see, I bend my back leg. Use your back leg on this move. Don't use your front. Here you miss your bounce. Here, use your back leg more. Okay, here, one, two, okay? Make sure you don't go all the way down. Just make sure, make yourself fast, you know? You wanna go get up and throw sequence on the, your opponent, okay? Let's see how we do. Pay attention. I'm gonna bend my back foot. I go under the punch. And then I throw combinations. If I go to my left side, you know, it's gonna be my back, my back arms I'm gonna throw. If I go to my right, see uh, here, I have this set to go, okay? 
here, if I go to my left, I throw my left. It's very easy, very simple. You go to your right, you throw with your right. You go to your left, you throw with your left. Very simple. Yeah. Okay, guys, you're gonna shift your weight to your right, this is gonna be your right arm. If you shift your weight to your left, the power is in your left arm. Okay, it's very simple. Make sure it's my weight on my right, boom, it's gonna be my right. If my weight in my left, boom, you throw your left. Okay? And make sure, I don't want people to go too low, don't need it. It's just this enough space, you know, to move the, you know, if he throw, you know, a punch, you know, he's very tall. He throw, a, you know, in your head, just make sure your head go under the punch, you know. If you throw a body, don't need to go all over. Just block with your arm, you know, boom. Make sure you block with your arm, you know. Okay guys, sometimes you don't have time to go under the punch and we gotta learn how to count, how to block, okay? How we block? If he throws to my right side, I'm gonna turn and block with my right arm. Make sure you turn your body, okay? You gotta make sure you turn your body and your elbow, you know, stick over here because sometimes he throw combination one, two, if you don't have, if you just over here, you're gonna leave it open over here, you're gonna get cut up over here. Make sure when you count counting, your elbows in, okay, boom. And this is already set to go. See ya, boom, boom, I count it. Boom, boom. Same thing with my left. If you throw to my left side, it's gonna be my left arm, it's gonna block. See, I block, and now I count, okay? Make sure, every time you block, boom, boom, this is gonna go. If I block with my right arm, my left arm is, is set to go. If I block with my left, my right arm is set to go, okay? Make sure every time you block, okay, simple. Okay guys, we learn to go under the punch and blocking. Sometimes you don't have time to go under, you gotta block. Same thing, sometimes you don't have time to move. Like suppose you're tired, okay, instead of moving, you're gonna catch. Catch, his punch and throw your catch and count. 
you know, we call catch and count, you know. Just make sure when you catch, don't go catch over there, catch it right here, boom. See, I don't need to go too far away. I stay close to my chin. I catch and count. Okay, oh. Two, two. Just a little step. See, oh. See, yo. Just move a little bit. Put your body, you know, your little, use your shoulder to, to catch. Don't catch just with your arm. Use your body. When you catch, okay? When you catch, one, two. Okay. Okay guys, now you guys gonna enjoy my training. I'm gonna put all the combination together, defense, offense, you know, footwork, and me and my trainer gonna just sit down and enjoy yourself. Basic jab, basic jab. Shot right after that one. Too slow. Four body. No. Uh, uh, uh. One, two, three, four body. No, five. Five to body. One, two, three, four body shot. <laughs> 
Pivot that weight. Good shot. Come under after that. You gotta finish. Rock, rock. Yeah. Catch, catch. Yeah. High, high. Yeah. Catch, catch. Boom, boom. Hook. Okay. Left. Hook, hook, left hook. Catch, catch. Hook, left hook. Okay, then we gotta finish with the under though. Because watch, finish with the body shot. You're there. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's roll out. Do you want to catch, do? catch, under, under. Uh, 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 body shot. No, body shot. Body. Uh, come out. Come out. Okay. Just pivot out. Okay. You're left hander, so you should, no. should be easy for you. Uh, uh, under. I want you to go under again. Under. You got it. <laughs> that was just getting warmed up. Peso. Oh, Body shots there. Body shots there. You know what I'm talking? Body shot. Body shot. Good. Take your hands with you. Try some straight shots. Look at Just straight shots. One, two, three, four. And give me a four. Left hand. Mm -hmm. oh, four. That's it, okay. That's a good one. Show that speed. 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 Way too slow. Yeah, I'm scared. It's very hard to move, I know. Okay, guys, you guys are wondering why I go so fast and my coordination, my legs and my feet, and we call Victor Blitz. You know, you guys wonder how. I'm gonna show you how. This is a technical, you know, it's not just crazy fighting. You gotta make sure <clears throat> when you step in, you see, I walk in, I bring my feet, everything is a coordination. My body, see, and my legs. But I add speed when I do, I'm trying to go fast as I can, you know, when I hit the target, if you go backwards, it's, fast, it's easier for me. I just hit, you know. It's not, it's not hard, but it's not simple. But well, you gotta make sure you have your coordination. And now, I'm gonna show you guys how. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Hook. Boom, boom, boom. Just keep going. Hook. I'm just keep going to yeah, to you stop. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Vitor is wearing shoes, so he will not be able to oh. strike with the feet. Oh, he does with the hands 
Alonso meets Hart Belfort. It's the winner. 44 seconds. The knockout might be Tor Belfort. Okay, guys, you see that film? That's what we call Vitor Blitz, you know? I go straight, but before I go, I see the opening. And you, you know, you gotta make sure the punch is working. If the punch is not working, you gotta step away and, you know, and get your balance and try to go and try to hit him again. But if you see the opening and your punch is working, go forward, you know, don't lose it. If you had, it's like, if you have him, finish. If you don't have him, okay. You know, we gotta see, try to catch him later. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how. Okay. I'm first, I'm gonna start with the jab. The jab works. I go and throw my, my back, my cross punch, you know. I keep going, you know. My legs, my body, everything's in coordination. You gotta make sure your feet and your hands in the same rhythm. Okay, don't. Don't lose it. I don't want to just go wild. Don't try to go wild. Doesn't work. Okay? Make sure you're punching. See you. Boom, boom, boom. It's working. Okay, guys. As you can see, everything's worked together. You got to have confidence in your punches and your ability. You know? And as soon as you have that, go for it. Don't miss it. Grab it and go. And you'll be fine. Okay guys, as you can see, that's what I do to my opponent. He just can see my fits, you know, that's great openings, and my hands, it's too fast working, and all the punches being working on his chin, on, you know, the part that I can take him out, okay? You guys learn the very best of Vitor Belt. Stick with me and learn in the best way, is to watching tapes. Okay guys, we learned the myths, we learned the techniques and now why do we use the heavy bag? The heavy bag where you get your power, you throw your combinations, you know, you can throw by yourself when you're in the gym, anywhere you can, you know, just work, it's a good workout, it's good to work your sequence, you know, start learning how to throw one, two, three, one, two, three body shot, you know, and I just want to show you guys how we do that, how you keep your balance, you know, let's just go. Take, take a look, you know, and watch yourself what you can do by yourself, okay? Okay guys, now we're gonna go to shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, where you learn, you have a mirror in your house or in your gym, and you work to correct your moves. You know, you can see in the mirror yourself boxing. You know, you like, you're boxing nobody, but you just shadow boxing, and you learn the moves, you learn how to, you know, create a new techniques, new combinations. And you know, it's one of the best workouts to warm it up before you get to the ring. And, do the mids and hit the bags. Okay? Let's go.
Hey, 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 hey.